Have you ever wanted to power on your PC remotely without even touching it? In this video I'll show you how to set up Wacon LAN on Windows 11 so you can turn on your computer from anywhere on the same network or even across the internet. Hi everyone, today I'm sharing this based on my own experience setting it up on multiple PCs. Whether you're using it for remote access, saving energy or you're just trying it out, this can be super handy. So let's get it started. To enable Wacon LAN, the first thing I do is to head into the BIOS. On my PC I press F2 as soon as it powers on, but keep in mind for your system it might be delete, F10 or another key. Check your motherboard brand if you're not sure. Once in the BIOS I go to the APM configuration section and I here find an option called power on by PCIe. I make sure it's turned on and it's enabled. This allows the system to wake up from network activity through Ethernet or Wi-Fi card. But again, this layout and naming can vary a lot depending on your motherboard. So look for similar terms like Wake on LAN, Power on by LAN, or any other terms that your motherboard configuration might have. Now that it's enabled in the BIOS, the next step is to turn it on in Windows. Right click on the Start menu and open Device Manager. Then expand the Network Adapter section and right click on the adapter you're using, usually the Ethernet, and choose Properties. From there I go under power management and inside the power management I can see three options. The first one is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. I click on it to be able to click on the other two. And from there I click on allow this device to wake the computer and only allow a magic packet to wake the computer. And from there everything is set up and I can click on OK. For this next part, we need the MAC address and the IP address of the device we want to wake up, in this case my PC. I found it by logging to my router admin panel and under connected devices, I was able to see both the IP and the MAC address for my PC. Now depending on your router, this might look a bit different, so take your time exploring the interface. Alternatively, you can also find the MAC address and IP address right from your Windows PC. Just open command prompt and type ipconfig slash alt. Look for Active Network Adapter, the IPv4 is your IP, and the physical address is your MAC address. Once you have both, we are ready for the next step. Now depending on what device you want to wake up your PC with, whether it's a Raspberry Pi, an Android, or an iOS device, you need some kind of app to send what's called a magic packet. In this case, I'll demonstrate it using an Android device. From the Google Play Store, I install an app called Wake on LAN. Inside the app, I tap the plus button, choose enter manually, and then filled out the details. Gave my device a name, enter the MAC address I found earlier, enter the IP address of the device, and then I just saved it, and it's ready to send the magic packet when I need it. Alright, now let's go ahead and test it out. Make sure your PC is shut down but not unplugged, and it's still connected to the same network as your phone. Now on my Android device, I'll open the Bacon LAN app and tap the device I just added. It should send a magic packet and if everything is set up correctly. Let's go ahead and see. Alright, my PC just turned on and that means the Bacon LAN is working. Keep in mind this only works on your local network, meaning your phone and PC need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi or LAN. If you want to turn on your PC remotely, while you're away from home, you need a way to access your home network from outside. That usually involves things like port forwarding or using a VPN, but that's a topic for another video. If you're interested in that, make sure to check out the channel. This video is based on my personal experience and what worked for me. Always do your own research and take necessary precautions when changing settings like in the BIOS or using network tools. I'm not responsible for any issues that may happen or see at your own risk. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video to support the channel. I post more easy tech tips just like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.